In this video, I will be giving you a tour of the RAV4 XLE Hybrid. My wife and I just bought this car and I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos. They're either way too long, in my opinion, or made by people at a car dealership. So I decided to make a video putting something out there that I would have wanted when purchasing this car. All right, let's jump in. Starting up at the front of the car, um, let's get under the hood. We have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine paired with an automatic transmission. This combination produces a uh, 219 horsepower and 163 pounds of torque. Yes, I did have to look that up. I did not know that off the top of my head. Um, this provides a great balance of efficiency and performance. Um, up front, the RAV4 is equipped with bright LED headlights for visibility in all conditions, um, alongside your classic daytime running lights as well. Um, one thing you'll notice right away is the blue Toyota emblem. You're only going to find this on all of their hybrid, well, no, I think just their RAV4 hybrid vehicles. Don't quote me on that part, but that's what the blue means. Um, this is obviously signifying an eco-friendly option. Now let's move along to the side of the vehicle. Here's where you have a stylish A. I mean, you have four stylish alloy wheels that provide both your durability and a little touch of elegance. Um, the side mirrors are equipped with integrated turn signals and handy feature that enhances visibility and safety while driving. Uh, these mirrors are also featured with blind spot monitoring. Uh, it does beep sometimes. I think you can turn that off, but... Um, it obviously makes it easier to change lanes with uh, just more confidence. And as we make our way to the rear, you'll notice that all the windows from the back seats onward are tinted for added privacy and your UV protection from the sun. Uh, at the back, there are some unique designs to, um, to explore. The XLE Hybrid trim badge is located on the right, while the RAV4's badge is positioned on the left. In the center, the Toyota logo sits above the backup camera, which provides a clear view when reversing. Uh, to open the trunk, simply reach under that logo and press the button, making access to the cargo space, <laughs> cargo space smooth and straightforward. Inside the cargo area, you'll see the second row seating offers a 60-40 split, uh, allowing you to customize your cargo and passenger space based on your needs. You can easily adjust the seats to lay flat by using the rear or by using the release handles on each side is what I meant to say. Um, this is perfect for expanding cargo space or keeping them upright for extra seating. Another thoughtful touch is the retractable cargo cover, which extends to shield your belongings from view and can be retracted when it's not in use. Um, if you need even more uh, room, the cargo cover can be removed entirely thanks to the convenient tension rod setup that lets you stow it away very easily. Moving down, the cargo floor is lined with a durable RAV4 branded rubber mat, uh, making the cleanup very easy and offering added protection against wear and tear from cargo. Uh, beneath that mat, you'll find a carpet layer, which is almost equally easy to maintain. Uh, this thoughtful layering protects the cargo area from potential damage and keeps both the vehicle and cargo area safe. Uh, in addition, there are tie down points along the side so you can secure items that might have moved around or might move around, I should say. To the right, you'll find a power outlet perfect for powering devices or accessories on the go, a small built in storage area for keeping essentials organized. Uh, when you're ready to close up the trunk, you can either pull down on the handle on the side or simply press the electronic close button on the left side for a quick, convenient close. If you're watching this video and it's helpful and exactly what you were looking for, do me a huge favor, give the video a like. An even bigger favor would be subscribing, but no pressure. That was all. Back to the video. Next, we're going inside the cabin. Uh, the RAV4 XLE Hybrid's interior features the black cloth upholstery. There are a few different colors. You can even get um, a pleather of sorts with, I think, different models like the Premium. In the backseat area, you'll find a fold-down armrest with cup holders, which folds away neatly uh, to allow additional seating. There's also seat back storage on the passenger side for keeping magazines, tablets, and other items handy. Uh, at the back center console, you'll find air vents for rear passengers along with charging ports to keep devices powered up during trips. As we move toward the driver's side, let's explore the door panel here. Uh, the handle has a smart feature, seeing these two lines here, indicating the keyless entry, 
which means if you have the fob with you, a simple touch will lock or unlock the doors. Uh, this model also includes power windows for all windows, um, a window lock, a power door lock system, and controls for adjusting the side mirrors. Metallic accents throughout the front cabin add a refined touch to the interior overall design as well. Uh, moving down to the driver's seat, it's fully electronically adjustable. Uh, the passenger seat is not, just to note, but you can find the perfect position on this one whether you need to adjust the seat back, raise or lower the seat, or even add lumbar support. Uh, to the left of the steering wheel, you will find controls for adjusting a few things like dashboard brightness, automatic headlights, rear defrost, the heated steering wheel, and an electronic release for the trunk. There's also a small storage compartment here, perfect for stowing smaller items. This is normally where I'll put my phone because, you know, put your phone away while you're driving people. It's dangerous. The steering wheel itself is packed with functionality as well. On the left side, you have controls for dash display along with hands-free communication, uh, volume control, and then the right side includes adaptive cruise control, um, lane departure alert, and sonar sensors for additional driving assistance. In the center of the dash is the information display screen. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything that this includes, but a few you know highlights. Um, this is obviously your hub for all things entertainment and connectivity. You'll have access to AM, FM, and satellite radio, full Bluetooth capability for calls and music. Um, it does include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for a seamless connectivity to your smartphone. This is where you can also track your hybrid stats, uh, such as battery levels and energy flow as well, um, through the dedicated section of the information system. All right, almost done here. Uh, beneath your information center is your climate control center, which is dual zone, so both you and your passenger set individual temperature preferences. I did not realize how much I was gonna love this. This is a big plus. Um, there's also an option for eco heat and cool modes, front and rear defrost, and controls for the push to start ignition farther over here. Um, down a bit, you'll find buttons for traction control, heated seats with high and low settings, and a storage area with a 12 volt adapter and USB ports. Between the front seats, you will have the gear shift, parking brake, and a driving mode selector. You can choose between eco, sport, normal, or EV mode depending on your preference and driving needs. We also have cup holders, a spacious center console that includes extra charging ports as well. Last but not least, on the passenger side of the dash, there's a built-in storage cubby that runs across the width of the cabin, perfect for small items you might want to keep close, a glove compartment, and then moving over here, finally, uh, just an overhead setup for controls, for interior lights, the SOS button, and you even have a sunglass compartment right here. Last bit is the controls for the moonroof, which opens up the cabin to sunlight or fresh air on your drive. We've had this car for only about two weeks now and are loving it. A big, scary, expensive purchase for us, but so worth it. We have our first on the way right now. A, a child is what I'm referring to. And this just seemed like safety, comfort, eco-friendly, all the things. If you got any questions, I'd be happy to, to try and answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more videos. See you later.